I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have that we sinned, sinned, sinned against, against you in, in thought, thought, word, and deed. And deed. By, by what we have what done, we've done and, by and by what we have left, left undone. undone. We, we have, have not, not loved you loved with our, our, heart. our whole heart. We have we not have loved our neighbors neighbor as, as ourselves. ourselves. We, we are truly sorry and we humbly, and we humbly repent. repent. For, For the, the sake, sake of your of Son, your son Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ, have mercy, have mercy on, us on us and forgive us. Forgive us. That we may that delight, we delight in, your, in will your will and, and walk, walk in your, in your ways, ways to the glory, the glory of, your name. of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, Open our lips, and our, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the and Son, to the and, Son. And, and to the, and Holy, to the Spirit. Holy Spirit, as it was, it was in the beginning, in the beginning is now, yeah. and will be forever. Will be forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. We say together, be joyful in the Lord, in the Lord all you all are your lands. Serve the Lord, the Lord with gladness, gladness and come, and come before, before his, his presence, presence with, a song. with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Psalm 148. You may follow at the asterisk. We will, we will do Eric by whole verse. And so the verses that are underlined are the verses that all of us are going to be answering to. And Eric is going to be leading us where it says reader. And please feel free. I know we're still playing with this with the mic and, and all of that. Uh, but if you are unmuted, uh, uh, go ahead and participate. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels of His. Praise, Praise Him, praise him all, all His angels. Praise Him. Sun and moon, praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heaven, and you are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He made them as for. Praise the Lord from earth. You see monsters 
and all deeps, fire and hail, snow, snow mountains and all hills, fruit trees and cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, praise and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted. His splendor is over earth and heaven. He has he raised us for his people and, and praised praise the Lord for all his servants, servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Sign glory to the Holy Father Spirit. and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, the beginning is, is now, now, now and will be, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Eric is going to lead us uh, in the first lesson. A reading from Joshua, the first, verse 1 through 18. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, pass through the camp and command the people, prepare your provisions, for in three days you are to cross over the Jordan to go into the Rubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joshua said. Eric, hold on, hold on a second. I think, are you following the screen that I'm sharing? Because I think you're on the second page. Or am I doing something wrong here? I'm going by the one you sent me this morning. Yeah, but I think then you are on the, on the second. There are two slides for this. Okay. Thing. After the death of Moses. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Right. Yes. The servant of the Lord. The Lord spoke to Joshua, son of. Nun. There's a picture in the way there, hard to get it. Um, assistant saying, my servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan and, and the words are cut off. Your foot will trade upon, I have given to you as I promised to Moses. All right, if, if you don't have the words, I'll, I'll... I'll do it, Eric. Okay. Or though we have a volunteer who is looking at the screen right now at the PowerPoint, or are those the words that are cut off from the? The words are all cut off by the. No, I can see the full screen. All right, I'll I'll do a reading. After the death of Moses, a servant of the Lord. The Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all these people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness, and the Lebanon as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. 
no one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall put these people in possession of the land that I soared to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that you may be successful wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, pass through the camp and command the people, prepare your provisions. For in three days you are to cross over the Jordan, to go in to take possession of the land that the Lord your God gives you to possess. To the Rebunites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joshua said, Remember the word that Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you, saying, The Lord your God is providing you a place of rest and will give you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your livestock shall remain in the land that Moses gave you beyond the Jordan. But all the warriors among you shall cross over armed before your kindred and shall help them until the Lord gives rest to your kindred as well as to you. And they too take possession of the land that the Lord your God has given them. Then you shall return to your own land and take possession of it. The land that Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you beyond the Jordan to the east. They answered Joshua, All that you have commanded us, we will do. And wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we obeyed Moses in all things, so we will obey you. Only the Lord your God be with you, as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your orders and disobeys your words, whatever you command, shall be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. I invite us to say together Canticle 16, the song of Zechariah. Right, and should be there on, on your screen. We say together, Blessed be the Lord, the Lord God the God of Israel. Israel. He, he has come, has come, to, his come to his people and set them free. He, he has raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior, mighty Savior born, born of the house of his servant David. David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from, us from our enemies from, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the this oath, was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship, free to worship without him fear. without fear, holy, holy and righteous and in his sight all the day. days of our life. You, you shall be my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before, go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give people, people knowledge of salvation 
by the foundation of our God, to shine on the darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, beginning now, and now, shall and shall be forever. Word without Amen. end. Amen. Tom. They went to, Com Capernaum. to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, he entered the synagogue and taught. They were just astonished at his teaching. For he taught them one having authority and not as the scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, throwing him into convulsions and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. They were all amazed, and they kept on asking one another, What is this, a new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirit, and they obey him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Well, my friends, we are uh, 13, lucky 13, gathered together uh, this morning. And I know it's probably, uh, it feels a little bit weird uh, to be connected like this, right? Um, we would all prefer to be in church uh, somehow, for sure. I know I, I would, but this is what we got that in this pandemic. And uh, this is what we can safely do as well and it's wonderful it's wonderful that uh we are able to gather even if uh through um, zoom and um, it's wonderful also that we can uh, see each other's faces uh, a little bit i know that's um uh you know um, some of us have the iphones and and, and, and our pictures, the cameras, but that's that's okay. That's okay. We can we can listen to each other. You know, when I was reading uh, the lessons for today, and and you have to realize that we are not using the lectionary. We're using the lectionary, but not the lectionary that we would use on Sunday. And there is a reason for it. The lectionary, the readings we have for Sundays that we usually do are. Eucharistic readings and what that means is that they are chosen is a lecture is a Eucharistic lectionary and they're chosen to be used during communion during during the Holy Eucharist and these ones we're using are the readings for the daily office uh, which are different from the Eucharistic lectionary we use uh, for Sunday so that's the reason it might be a little bit hard for you to find the lessons out there but if you go to the Online, you can find them, but you also can go to a prayer book and you will see where it says daily office in the different lectionaries. And there is one, two years, year one and year two. And the easy way to learn that is that year two belongs to or goes with the years that are even. And so we are in 2020 and that's an even number. 2020, so it's year two, and year one for the daily office readings are the even, uh, the odd years, I'm sorry. So in 2021, we'll be using year one for the daily office lectionary. So if that, that's worth anything, so uh, there you have it. But when I was um, reading the lessons for today, especially the, the reading uh, from Joshua, I realize uh, the words, you got to be strong and courageous, uh, are repeated in that lesson three times uh, to Joshua. And what we are witnessing here in this lesson is the, uh, almost like a change of command uh, or Moses passing the baton to 
Joshua or God passing the baton from Moses to Joshua. I mean, Moses had already died. And I think there is a lot to learn in leadership about this lesson. And I think uh, a lot to learn also for life from this lesson. Um, think about Moses, you know, Moses fought with God to be the one to you know, lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Remember those words he, he told God, uh, Moses, when God had called him to, to be the leader. And he said, God, I'm, I, I, I can't, I just can't, you know, pick somebody else. I, I have a stuttering problem. I have a speech impediment, right? I, you know, pick somebody else. I, I won't do it. And Moses went through the whole process of confronting Pharaoh, of leading the people out of Egypt, out of slavery, and wandering for 40 years with the people of Israel in the desert. Um, there is a joke out there, by the way, it says that uh, Moses uh, took him, you know, 40 years to get to the Holy Land, to the Promised Land, which should be done in a week or two, right, uh, walking because he didn't follow directions. He was a male, and males don't usually follow directions. So that's the reason it took uh, Moses 40 years to get to the, to the promised land. But anyhow, think about that whole process that Moses goes through to get to the promised land. And when he's on the other side of the Jordan River, on the east side, and if you have been in the Holy Land, I mean, it's, it's the Jordan River is not that big of a river, uh, but it's a river nonetheless. And when he's on the east side where Jordan is today, the country, he dies. Mm -hmm. Think about what God is doing here. Um, Moses has to let go when he reaches the point he has devoted his whole life for. Think about it. What God does here, where God, Moses has to let go right when he's there at the entrance of the land that God had promised him and the people of Israel. And then Joshua, his young assistant, has to take that baton in leadership. God passes that command to Joshua and you know you hear these words be strong and courageous but I was thinking about a title for today's reflection and I thought about when strong and courageous are not enough where being strong and courageous are not enough and the reason I'm saying this is because I had a professor of Hebrew scriptures at Claremont School of Theology, Jim Sanders, whom I adore, he must be close to 100 years. Um, he was a translator of the Dead Sea Scrolls in the 60s, translated the book of Isaiah, the book of Psalms from uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls into English. And he always said to us in class that the way Joshua takes on the promised land is not the way to do it. It's not the way God wanted Joshua to do it, but it's the opposite. It is the opposite. And if you keep the reading about how Israel goes into the promised land, you will, I mean, essentially read a lot about it. it's it's all bloodshed. I mean, it's 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 fighting, it's it's warfare, it's cruel, it's it's just horrible. And, and therefore, that's probably one of the reasons that people, people say, well, the God of the Old Testament is a, is a revengeful God. And the God of the, Old Te the New Testament is a, is a God we want to follow. In reality, it's the same God. But unfortunately, what we see in Joshua narrated, and also, uh, especially after Torah, is not how to do something. It's the opposite of it. And there is another lesson, too, I believe, in leadership for when you look at both Moses and Joshua, and that is that we all do the best we can, and we usually, uh, more often than not, we fail. We fail miserably. 
And uh, there is compassion, I guess, for all of us uh, in that respect. But then you move to the, to the gospel lesson, and it is true. You see what is to have authority. Again, in the back, uh, if you go back to the first reading from Joshua, you will keep hearing be strong and courageous, but you will also hear a lot about Torah, about the law. This is what you are to follow. This is what you are to do. You know, keep the, the, that, those sacred books of the law. Uh, God is reminding Joshua before you. And in those books of the law is, you know, how you should do things. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart. You know, Shema Israel. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your might. And your neighbor as yourself, right? There is a summary of the law of Torah. And in keeping that, the Torah in front of you, it's, it's important, right? Keeping Torah in front of ourselves as, as something to give us perspective is important, but it's not everything. Because if Torah is not applied in our daily lives, then it is worthless in a sense. The, the, the learning of Torah comes with the action that Torah produces in our lives. And that's what we see, by the way, in this lesson from uh, the second lesson. Uh, when we see Jesus going into the synagogue in Capernaum, Capernaum is that small village uh, on the shores of the Sea of Galilee, of the Lake of Galilee, and where, you know, Peter and James and Andrew and uh, John lived. His first disciples that we heard he, Jesus called in last week's uh, lessons. And therefore, you know, in that, in that village, there is a synagogue and, and Jesus goes to teach in that synagogue. And it says that the people who heard Jesus teach were astounded. They were amazed for they, for Jesus taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes and not as the scribes. Think of what, what that says, which has to do with essentially with what I was talking to you about, that the authority that is given to Jesus, yes, he is a son of God, but is the authority that Jesus possesses, I believe, is because he acts upon what he believes, what he represents. And that is the contrast with the scribes. The scribes were very good scholars. I can be a very good scholar. I can write beautifully. I can say the right words and amaze you and impress you. And, and you can be, you know, uh, you know, taken apart by, by what I have to tell you or how, what I have to write to you or whatever I'm trained on. But that's not it. I mean, that's important. Don't take me wrong. Doing things professionally and doing it right is important. But what is most important is that our actions are a reflection of what we teach. That our actions are a reflection of what we believe. San Ignatius of Loyola used to say that más vale poner el amor en las obras que en las palabras. It is best to put our effort, our love, our strength in our actions than in our words. Mm. What it means is it is important that our actions correlate, are mm. in sync with what we say we believe. Mm. And that, I believe, is, is the summary here of, of the law putting into practice. Jesus, what, Jesus, what Jesus embodies here in the lesson is that he puts into practice the law. He is the fulfillment of the law, right? Mm -hmm. And that, that's one of the reasons with our sisters and brothers who are evangelicals, right? That when they say the word of God, yes, the word of God is in the Bible. Yes, the Bible is the word of God. Mm -hmm. But the incarnation of the word of God, of the logos, is Christ himself. The word of God is not limited 
to the Bible, to scripture, but the word of God is fulfilled in the person of Christ, of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and to an extent in us, the church, as his followers. Because when we say that Christ became to be one of us, what we are saying is that through him, we too are heirs of that word. And that that word, that divine spirit, lives and resides in each and every one of us. So that's the reason here in the lesson that the evil spirits obey to Jesus. He rebukes them and they don't even fight back. They do what Jesus tells them to do. And they were all amazed, says the reading. He taught them with authority. Remember I said to you last week that teaching was a synonym for fishing in the Hellenistic world. And when Jesus calls his first disciples and say, I'll make you fish for people, fishermen. What that mm. means is that your teaching ought to be also your actions ought to be a reflection of what you believe. Mm. So my friends, my, my prayer, I'm going to end with this. I probably have talked a lot. Um, is that all of us as members of the church, as the incarnate word of God, word of God resides in, in each of us, may, may we not just be strong and courageous like Joshua, mm. but may we also know that through Christ, we are called to be heirs of that action, of that ministry that Jesus is exemplifying in today's gospel reading. May we have that strength, may we have that grace, and may the word of God resides, may that word of God reside in each and every, every one of us here present. Amen. 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 I brought this beautiful Amen. icon for you to take a look at. That's it. Christo Panto Crater uh, in, in the Greek church, which is, you know, God Almighty, God Almighty. And that's the power that we hear of um, in the gospel lesson today, which is, by the way, how what Joshua did. I mean, that's what Jesus represents in, in the gospel lesson today. We say together, uh, reaffirm our faith in the words, in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in, I believe in God, the Father, oh, the Father Almighty, the Father Almighty, the Maker of Heaven. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Christ the Son, our Lord. Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the, 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 the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered and suffered on the Pontius Pilate. Was crucified, died, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. To the death. On the third day, the third day he, he arose again. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and he seated he in right the right hand of the Father. He, he will, will come, come again, again to judge the living and the dead. Living and the dead. Mm -hmm. I believe I in, in, the in, in, in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, Holy Catholic Church, the, the communion of sins, of sin, the forgiveness of sins, the, sin, the resurrection of the body. And the life everlasting. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And also, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom be done. Thy will be done. Earth as it is in heaven. Give us the day our daily bread. And forgive us for the our trespasses today, as, as we have forgiven those who trespass against us. And we will not be able to forgive us from the evil and deliver us from the evil and us from the evil and the kingdom. Amen. Glory. Glory. Amen. 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 Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Show us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. 
Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For all Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Creating us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O Lord, mercifully receive the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may know and understand what things they ought to do and also may have grace and power faithfully to accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And forever. Amen. Amen. O oh God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your faith. For Jesus, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We come with pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all the members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We now may offer our own prayers and uh, as intercessions or thanksgiving. We're going to take just a few moments of silence as we offer our prayers. And you may say those prayers uh, silently or aloud. We lift up to you in prayer, Heavenly God, all those who are having a difficult time these days throughout the world. People who are dealing with mental health issues, with anxiety, depression, despair. Those who might be unemployed. Those who may experiencing may be experiencing fear. All those who are hospitalized and alone without their families next to, to them. Mm. We pray for the angels who are taking care of those who are sick these days, mm. the doctors, the nurses, the medical personnel, everyone who is doing the very best they can to save lives and, and bring your healing touch <coughs> to those who are ill with COVID or any other illness. <clears throat> we pray for those who may not want to use masks or to protect others who, who may feel their freedoms are being taken away from them. Lord, we pray that you may soften their hearts to, to see the need to protect other people. The need to take care of each other. The need to not just be strong and courageous, but also to be able to 
allow you to guide the way so that we may not have to be in charge all the time, but may allow you to be in charge. We pray for our nation. We pray for those who are serving in the military. Those who might be deployed and put in harm's ways away from home. We pray for the leaders of the world that we may work together for the benefit of your people. Especially we remember before you this day, those who are in our community might be sick as listed in the parish uh, cycle of prayer. Alan Barron, Candice Clifford, Sean Donnelly, Madison Ford, Carmen Garcia, Franklin Harris, Dian Joanne, Robert Lebler Jr., Lydia, Mercy, Susan Miller, George Montecino, Jayla Morales, Sandra Morera, Lisa N, James O, Luz Obando, Julio Perez, Joanne Pennerman, Lindsay Rosen, Anna Sasso, Bonnie Sasso, Charlotte Sweb, Everett Soar, Gladys Tejera, William Turner, Marisa Valverde, Grace Avalin, Lee Magali, Michael, Rosa, Zach, Jack, Barbara Garcia, and for all those serving in the armed forces. Maybe those whom we may now remember as well. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and what we have asked faithfully grant that we may obtain effectually the glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Now we can say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, in all your goodness and loving kindness, and loving kindness, all you have all who whom you have made, bless you for our great preservation and all blessings of this life. Blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and your redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray. Give us such an awareness of your mercy. We truly thank you for your heart. We show forth your praise. Not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up by giving ourselves up to your service and by walking service, before you in walking holiness you and righteousness in and all our days. All our days. Through Jesus Christ, Christ, our Lord, our Lord with, you with you and the Holy Spirit, with you and the Holy Spirit be on our glory for our ages. Amen. <clears throat> Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right, friends, this uh, concludes our, our service this morning. Um, we're shy of, uh, of an hour, more or less. I don't know. Um, any impressions, anything that you may want to, you know, um, change or do differently? If we can do it, I'm, I'm not sure we can do a lot. I mean, we may be um, 
limited to a few things just by the by the fact of, of the, the software we are using and all of that. I know there is a delay in the mic um, that there are you know issues with uh, with recording especially when when we have so